of mandatory quarantine for all citizens, as well as its instant and near hermetic sealing off of all borders, saved millions of lives, stopping the spread of the virus far earlier than in other countries and enabling a swifter post-pandemic recovery. China's government was not the only one that took extreme measures to protect its citizens from risk and exposure. During the pandemic, national leaders around the world flexed their authority and imposed airtight rules and restrictions, from the mandatory wearing of face masks to body temperature checks at the entries to communal spaces like train stations and supermarkets. Even after the pandemic faded, this more authoritarian control and oversight of citizens and their activities stuck and even intensified. In order to protect themselves from the spread of increasingly global problems, from pandemics and transnational terrorism to environmental crises and rising poverty, leaders around the world took a firmer grip on power. Okay, I'll stop there. You get the point, I'm sure. This is near perfect in describing what's taking place right now. I'll link this PDF in the description for you guys. Another interesting book I found is called Microelectronics and Society. For Better or For Worse, A Report to the Club of Rome. And this was published in 1982. It basically records the evolution of computer technology and has some very interesting things about the coming state of a cashless society. Let's read a couple parts. The concentration of activities around the computer will tend to immobilize the family, just as the TV does in many instances today, but much more so. This picture is the vision of the wired society, the cashless society, but not, we must hope, the alienated society, in which voting in elections and collective decision-making possibilities are available from the armchair at home, but not used. I thought that was wild to read from a book that was published in 1982. Also there's this. The unique characteristics of these systems make the application of existing consumer protection laws unclear, leaving the rights and liabilities of users undefined. Regulation E, Electronic Funds Transfer, 1980, of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System from which the above was quoted, was designed to react to that concern. With the advent of videotex terminals in the home and the generalization of such systems, the terms relating to transactions need to be explicit. The move to the cashless society seems inevitable given the technological push provided by microelectronics and the significant cost advantages associated with the transfer of funds electronically. The Club of Rome is a powerful collection of international elites who claim to serve humanity as a premier environmental think tank and consultants to the United Nations. 